God. Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek. Hoodlum. Thork. Freak. There is someone at the door. Speak. I have a return package for Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Runciter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drug man. Who the here? piss do you think Mr. you Runciter are? Blast have a strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. Ooh! Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <clears throat> Take a good, long look. Aha! Uh -huh. Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6, and you came to us. Return to you, my brothers, to ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick or a rep whose memory banks had run out. One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. And this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Apartments, ground floor.
Oh, it's you. Did you find the girl, Lucy? I've met her, yes. Really? Is she in custody? I'll be happy to come down to the station and identify her. That won't be necessary. All right. I just wanted to ask her why. Why she would do such a thing. My precious ones are gone. I cared for them. All of them. I wanted to ask you about the Tyrell subcontractors again. The ones down on DNA Row. Detective, if I knew something, you can be sure I tell you. I found an envelope in an apartment down in the row. From your shop. Good chunk of chinion inside. You didn't lose an envelope, did you? Huh. I don't think I want to talk to you anymore, Mr. McCoy. Yeah, it was a lot of money. Enough maybe for a fake animal or two. Something big, even. Like a tiger. Bone marrow tests are getting cheaper every day. I'm thinking it'd be worth a little taxpayer money to check out those animals of yours. Go away! What? Why? Tell me about Luther and Lance. The... Who? I don't. You're paying the subcons on DNA Row. Why? No. You heard it wrong. Lie to me. Go ahead. You'll only do it once. Animals. It was my animals. Some of them were... Fake... You won't. You can't tell anyone. My reputation. Your reputation? Unbelievable. No! The tiger was real. I swear it. My precious one. She was my baby. I sacrificed everything to get that tiger. And now she's dead. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police issue firepower was gone. Hmm. Private property. 